This is ridiculous. They are the beast, man. Okay. restaurant place most drinks start at like 15 bucks so like add that together so like if you were doing like you paid 14 bucks for parking um then you went someplace else and paid let's say another 10 bucks for parking to go to that place now you're looking at like so you're like 24 bucks and then say you spent 30 dollars on lunch um, that already takes you over 50 dollars so that's fun get a how much are your camel blue 99s? Uh, 1198. Let me let me get um, a pack of the blue Seneca's. Yeah. Um let me get one more of these actually and then that will be tomorrow's problem. I didn't get to tell you how much the um handy get my book was so I need to talk to you about that. And then um I got cigarettes. So that was let me fold it like this. So you don't see my numbers and then I'm gonna fold it like this. So you also can't see my numbers. I'll fold this like this. So you can also not see my numbers. Okay, so here we go. Can you see that? Um, that is how much I spent at the uh, smoke shop. So I got a large buco and um, two, uh, what do you call it? Packs of cigarettes. And they're the cheap cigarettes, but they're actually, for a cheap brand of cigarettes, they're not bad. They just burn really fast, so you go through them really quick. So there's that. Then I went to 7-Eleven to grab some beer. The beer and then I got because uh, I'm going to be sitting here for like uh, 45 minutes waiting for the parking cop to go by um, I got a cup of mango with tahini and so I was just getting my beer and a cup of mango and then the chick like talked me into getting pizza she's like we're running a special right now on pizza so it was um, two bucks for two pieces of pizza so anyway so this is how much I spent getting uh, three tall boys a cup of mango and two pieces of pizza so that is probably all the food I'm going to eat today and um, that beer will probably last me three days so if you smoke and drink um, LA is very expensive but so let's do the math here on me leaving the house for just a few minutes. <laughs> what the fuck happened this day? So I spent 14 on parking, and then 15 at 7-Eleven. So let's say that's uh, 29 bucks plus, uh, what is that? 1973, let's round that to 20. So $49 I've spent so far today. Living in LA, like depending on what your lifestyle is, is gonna depend on like how much you spend every day. And obviously I'm not showing you like how much my rent is, how much my bills are. Um, this is just like existing day to day with my lifestyle, if that makes any sense. Um, some of you, and I'm probably gonna go get coffee in a little bit too, so we'll add that into there. So I think what do we say we're at? We're at 49 bucks. Okay. And again, all I got to eat was a mango cup, two pieces of fucking 7-Eleven pizza, and um, some beer for later in my uh, coconut water. Um, the other thing too, like if you like those like fruit cups from the vendors, that's depending on where you are in LA, that's anywhere from eight to $15. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that is drastically different depending on where you are. Um, well, Ubers are drastically different. Um, like there was, I was going to do a video a little while ago um, going to uh, Little Tokyo and um, I was waiting for the Uber fares to drop because depending on how many uh, Uber drivers there are in any given area um, kind of dictates what the price is. So when I first looked, it was like 30 bucks to go from here to Little Tokyo, which is like maybe two miles. Um, the walk's kind of shit though because you have to like walk into downtown and all this other shit. Um, so from here, it's kind of a bitch. And then you have to cross the freeway, which is another bitch. That's a whole other fucking thing. Anyway, who gives a shit? So there's that, and um, 
so if you were doing an Uber, it would be, it started at 30, and then as the time was going by, it got down to 21, and I was really hoping it would, like, drop to, like, I don't know, like, 10 or 12, because a lot of times, like, going to, like, downtown, like, I could get an Uber fare for about 7 bucks, um, so maybe I should have just, now that I'm thinking back, maybe I should have just gotten an Uber to the outskirts of downtown, like, over the freeway and the whole thing, and then, um, just walk the rest of the way. That probably would have been pretty smart, now that I think about it. Starting to get really warm, which is nice, and hopefully it stays like that, because my building already shut off the boiler, and it was cold as fuck last night. Um, so Ubers are another thing. Um, you can take the bus, the bus system in LA and like the whole metro thing. It's not great. It's okay. It's probably better than what it would be like in, um, I don't fucking know, like, uh, actually, I don't know, like for a metropolitan city, I think LA probably has the worst public transit. Um, every other city I've been in has been really fucking smooth. So like you can do buses here. Um, I have a buddy that like swears by the bus. He doesn't have a car. He just takes buses everywhere. Um, <clears throat> but like it usually, yeah, he usually has to leave. Like if he's going to go anywhere, he has to leave like two, two and a half hours beforehand to get anywhere. And I don't know if I'm that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say put together, but like, uh, if I can plan properly enough to be able to give myself an extra two and a half hours to get anywhere. Uh, let me see. So the buses are inexpensive. It's like typical bus fare. Um, a lot of people do the, um, like lift and line trikes. Well, not trikes, but like scooters and electric bikes and shit like that. Um, so that could be a thing too, if you don't want to have a car. Cause honestly, having a car in LA is going to be one of your biggest fucking, um, expenses. Because as soon as you move here, your car insurance is going to skyrocket. Um, not skyrocket, but it, it goes up a lot. And then if you don't have like full complete coverage to where like if you if your car gets broken into, if parts of your car get damaged while it's parked and stuff like that. Because like when I first moved here, I tried to like skip, and then I skip, and the first thing that fucking happens is my catalytic converter gets stolen, and the car insurance won't cover it. So um, and then that's like a thousand bucks. So you gotta have like full fucking car insurance here just to be safe because like the longer you're here, chances are your car will get broken into, your car may get stolen, or your car may get damaged. Um, and then two, having the, like the car rental shit is really important too if you need to have a car. So if I were to move to LA again. Um, I would do it without a car, for sure. And um, I would probably either get a scooter, like, uh, like, a, like a motorcycle scooter thing, or um, just uh, rely on public transportation. But I would also probably move to a more centralized place, because where I live now, it's kind of like a vortex of nothing. So you have to go like two or three miles in any direction to be able to get like normal shit that you would need. Uh, cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Any other for you? No, not for awesome. you. Awesome. Okay. No. No. All right, 595. Yeah. So sorry. I the, the video was very fast. I completely understand that. I edit my videos double speed because I just don't have enough time in the day, I guess. Apparently, I threw out all of the original footage from all of this stuff, but I still had my working file that was saved as its own separate movie, but it was saved it two speed and when I tried to slow it down like the frames were all weird and like it just it was not bueno no 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 so thank you for sitting through that if you sat through this far like I really am sorry um but yeah I hope you enjoyed it